I send my camera to a company that specializes in infrared conversions. I recommend the, the full camera conversion over filter because you can shoot with faster shutter speeds and a lower ISO, much better portraits and sports photography. And an infrared converted camera will produce a raw image like this. Shooting infrared means you need to adjust to a shift in focus, as the light is perceived on a different wavelength. Some lenses have a red dot that indicates this shift and help you manual focus better. Use small apertures and run some tests to ensure your subject is in focus. Midday sunlight is preferred for shooting infrared photography. The strong wavelength of the infrared light will result in a dramatic contrast, especially if you have clouds on a clear blue sky and some foliage. Using live view on your camera is a good idea for more accurate focus and to check if there are any lens flares. When shooting portraits, use a flash to fill in the shadows and enhance the subject. When importing your raw images, make sure to set the white balance at a point where the sky looks a bit red and the skin tones look slightly blue. If your white balance slider is set to the minimum and is still not enough, you can create a camera profile using software like GNG Profiles Editor, where you can select the white balance that perfectly suits your infrared camera. Open your image in Photoshop and use the channel mix to swap colors. The previous steps are the basics of the infrared workflow. From here you can fine tune the final look of your images. The most important thing is to experiment and have fun.